Start tonight with continuing coverage of the efforts to rebuild from July's major flooding event. This is what Yolanda Rubio's house looked like after high waters inundated the walls. It's been a long road for the family, six months to be exact. Tonight, she and her family are finally home and getting settled right in time for Christmas. Local 5's Bryn Carmen has been following along with Rubio since the very beginning. Bryn joins us from Des Moines tonight explaining how all the incredible donations and helping hands made moving back in possible. After the summer flood, this room looked like a war zone, but after months of repairs, it's finally looking like a kid's room once again. This Christmas, the Rubio family is thankful for everyone who made this possible and got them home right in time for the holiday. It was an experience, a huge experience. It's been a long road to rebuild for Yolanda Rubio and her family. Six months ago, floodwaters engulfed her home, ruining almost everything in sight. I don't have the heart to tell my daughters, and it's, it's really hard. But through this entire journey, Yolanda has grown less sad and more thankful. We'll get through everything. And did they ever? Here is her new, newly remodeled kitchen. Now the family's house is barely recognizable. This is the girls' brand new room. If you remember, you couldn't walk because there was a hole in them flooring. Uh, you could see down to our crawl space, but this is it. We got bunk beds donated to us. While the remodel was slow, donated. it gave Yolanda time to reflect on all the good they've gotten along the way. The first picture that went up, the first frame that went up. I know everybody that was sent to us, everybody that's donated to us and helped us, I think God sent them, so we're pretty happy about it. Through it all, Yolanda experienced what it truly means to pass it forward inspiring her to do good for others this holiday. This Christmas, we're doing something different. Um, I am so happy with all the help and everybody that's helped us. So this Christmas, we're doing the opposite. Even though we're still struggling here, we're going to turn around and we're going to help others the way we were helped. Instead of Christmas presents, the family will be handing out brunch and blankets to the homeless. The start of a brand new tradition in their new house. And it'll be nice to give them things that some people can't have. My kids need to see that it's not about getting or asking. It's about giving to somebody else. In Des Moines, Bryn Carmen, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. The city of Des Moines announced Friday that it will be ending the flood recovery loan program. The loan is for people who suffered damage in June's flash flooding. Applications will be allowed until January 1st. For more information on how you can qualify, go to our website, weareiowa.com.